a lot of moves today. We're going to go through all of them. We'll, we'll start with the big one, JT. Can you start us out with this first hire? Yeah, and it's probably the biggest one on the day. It's got to be the Titans promoting Tim Kelly to the offensive coordinator position. Yeah, so Tim Kelly was the in-house uh, candidate for the Titans for the offensive coordinator position. Coming into the offseason, he was the only guy really being considered for that role that was on the staff last year. And he, um, despite many in recent weeks, thinking that the Titans would go with an exterior candidate in Charles London or Eric Bieniemy or Matt Nagy, they end up going with Tim Kelly. It was a bit of a surprise to many. It wasn't really all that surprising to me. And frankly, I don't think it should have been all that surprising because last I checked, Mike Vrabel is still the head coach of this football team. But yeah, he he gets hired. And Mike Vrabel actually, just before we were recording this, hopped on with the media to talk about uh, all the moves they made today, which by the way, a lot of internal moves to the dismay of many. But you know what? It should make very easy in 2023, JT collaborating they should be great collaborators in 2023 going along with their theme ever since they brought in Rand carthon they uh they already are acquainted don't even have to learn each other's names they can get right to the collaborating so good for them i can see where they're going with this mike Rebel said in his press conference when asked about tim kelly he said that when he heard in interviews with kelly what he would have done different the things he would change for this team as an offensive coordinator and the things that he would do going forward it was it was the things that he laid out in his plan for this team in the future if he were to get the role that really won him the job and won over coach Vrabel and and that Kelly's history with working with different schemes in Houston was one of the aspects of his resume that really resounded with with, with Mike Vrabel and made him decide that Kelly was the ultimate best choice for the job for Taylor Lewan's part, he said on Twitter, still technically a member of the Tennessee Titans, he said that Tim Kelly is the right man for the job. It sounds like, according to what Mike Fribble said in his press conference, Ryan Tannehill also very excited about this move. I will talk a little bit more about that comment and the ramifications of that comment later in the show. But I understand the numerous reactions from folks today, and that's really what I'm going to break down here in detail there are three different types of reactions, primary reactions to this hiring news. And um, I think that some of them are appropriate and some are not. The appropriate reaction is to be underwhelmed or a little disappointed. Totally fair. So there's some nuance here to my take. I think that being underwhelmed and a little bit disappointed with this hire is totally feasible. And a big part of that is because for the past month, Titans media have been hyping up the fact that the Titans could go with an exterior hire with somebody on the outside coming in, especially the two candidates from Kansas City that had been narrowed down as as probably at the top of the list here in recent weeks. There was a lot of hubbub and excitement around the idea that this team could really change a lot this offseason, right? You saw a lot of firings from the coaching staff. You saw the firing of John Robinson and bringing in a, a very different guy in Rand Carthon. There was so much momentum here or perceived momentum from a lot of folks in the direction of this team changing a lot about who they are and what their identity is in 2023, especially on the offensive side of the ball. And with this in-house hire, that fact alone seems to have taken the wind out of the sails of many fans. And I think that's fair. If, if you aren't jazzed by this, this hire, I think that that is, is a fair take. I'm not exactly excited about the hire. I, I'm very lukewarm. And again, here's the nuance, right? Like I'm not thinking that Tim Kelly is a great hire, but I also don't think he's a, a terrible hire like many, many seem to think. I don't think that hiring him is going to change dramatically the, the trajectory of this team going into next year. I, I don't think that at all. I'm really just confused. Why, why were people, we weren't talking this way on this show, JT, but but I had one person respond to me on Twitter explaining why they were disappointed, basically saying that everyone had been hyping up the, the Chiefs guys as potential offensive coordinator fill-ins on podcasts and radio shows and in articles for the past couple of weeks, telling telling everybody that they would you know be the best thing for the Titans. And it, there's a likelihood that they come in and change a lot of the identity of this team. And so this person was just left feeling like the air was let out of their balloon a little bit. And I, and I get that totally. But why did people convince themselves over the past month that this team was going to radically change their offensive identity? Why Why would we think, like like I said earlier, Mike Vrabel is still the head coach of this team, right? Did I miss where he got fired, where he's no longer in charge of the coaching staff? Did I miss where he's no longer ultimately in charge of the identity of this team on both sides of the ball? No, he's still the coach? Well, then, then 
then you shouldn't be surprised by this move at all. And you shouldn't be surprised by the fact that it doesn't look like the Titans are going to become a Kansas City Chiefs, Buffalo Bills, Cincinnati style, pass first, pass heavy, pass often offense that that abandons the run and changes their philosophy on on the outside and changes the way that they play the quarterback position and gets away from play. Like all of these things that you may want for the Titans offensively, Mike Rebel's still the coach. So it, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me for you to be surprised by that. So those are two of the reactions. Underwhelmed, totally fair. Surprised, I think that that's at best a little ignorant of you. The third is upset. And here's here's the crux of, of my position on this that's going to probably make the most people frustrated or at the very least, many will disagree with me. But I think it's true. And I think it's going to, as we as we distance ourselves from the news of the day, as we get into the offseason and see the moves and, and hear coaches talk in, in July and August and see the progression of this team and then get into next season, I think that I'm going to be proven right on this. Who Who was the guy that people were convinced this year, JT, was calling all the good plays? Tim Kelly. Who, who was the guy that a lot of folks before last year even began, who was the guy that people wanted to be the offensive coordinator going into next season? Tim Kelly. And then who was the guy who in 2021, before Todd Downing was ever hired, was the guy that Mike Vrabel tried to hire away from Houston, was denied that access by the team. And many folks were excited about the idea that he could be the offensive coordinator and then disappointed when ultimately that was blocked. Could it be... Tim Kelly, who perhaps guided Davis Mills to a franchise rookie record for passing yards, maybe? Yeah, it's it's that guy. And now who's the offensive coordinator? Tim Kelly. And everyone's upset. I, I find it very funny that we just spent months and months of people it, it, desperately every single day of the regular season begging for Tim Kelly to be the offensive coordinator for this team. And now the second that he is the offensive coordinator, the sky is falling. Now, that, that's the tweet that's gotten me in the, in the most hot water with a lot of folks today. And I have to explain, there's some nuance here. Like, I don't think it's a great hire. It's really not a take, right? Like, I'm just explaining in that tweet, I'm just laying out two facts. People wanted him to be OC all season. Now he is, and people are upset. I think that's funny. Just on paper, that's that's a funny thing that has happened. And and yeah, I don't think it's nearly as bad a hire as many people claim, or not claim, but as many people think that it is. But but we can disagree on that. I, I do think it's fair to say that, that it's a it's a funny turn of events. And I also think it's, Fair for me to point out that while many are coming back at that tweet today and that sentiment from not just me, I saw Buck Rising express this sentiment as well. Many are retorting with the idea that, well, fans and media alike were calling for Tim Kelly to be the offensive coordinator all season because he was an in-house candidate and he was the most logical and really the only possible guy to take over for Downing if you were to fire in midseason. And while that's true, he would have been the only reasonable hire in that capacity during the regular season, I don't think it's fair. I, I, I think it's revisionist history and prisoner of the moment nonsense for many folks to now suddenly say that, well, yeah, we wanted him to be the OC during the season, but we we didn't really want it to be the OC full time because those same folks, a large subsection at the very least of those folks are the same exact people that fit those three boxes we just laid out. Those folks wanted him to be OC during the season last year, before the season last year. They wanted him to be OC before before last season, before the the 2021 season. He's the guy that those same folks were saying when the Titans were were seven and three or seven and two was the guy calling all of the good plays last year. So, So pardon me if I don't believe you that all along you didn't actually think Tim Kelly would be a decent offensive coordinator hire. I think you're just upset because you got your hopes up that things would be changing dramatically. And now that they've hired somebody in house, which by the way, is not an admission that everything's going to be the same. People seem to think that we're with the hiring of Tim Kelly, nothing offensively for the Titans is going to change, which is ridiculous. But people seem to think that you you seem to think now with this hire alone, 2023 is a lost cause. I saw our, our buddy, friend of the show, colleague, Zach Lyons, who we love, say on Twitter and I think on his live Football and Other f word show today, he's already looking forward to the 2024 Titans season, which that's kind of his brand. Like, I'm not going to I'm not going to rag too hard on him, but I am going to call him out because I know he can take it. I think that's ridiculous, reactionary nonsense. I think the idea that this hire changes everything about next season is foolish and ridiculous. And, and Mike Vrabel in his press conference today, to his credit, explained as much he he said and i don't have the exact quote in front of me but he just said 
that, yeah, some things are going to change, uh, stay the same with Tim Kelly. Some things are going to, you know, carry over. We're going to have some of the same language. We'll be able to implement some of the same stuff. And in a way that may be helpful to a, to a team, you know, when you bring in a brand new guy with a brand new scheme, that's a lot of new learning that has to go on. But he said, while some things will stay the same, a lot of things are going to change. And a lot of those changes are going to challenge the way that we as a coaching staff have to approach the way that we coach this team this year. And that's what fans want. It's what you want. And what it's what he's saying is going to happen. Now, will it happen? Is there a chance he's lying? Yeah, we've called out Mike Ribble for lying in press conferences regularly. And that's not a, 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 you know, a slight towards him. It's a coach's job to lie in press conferences. We've admitted that. But until we see it, you can't know whether he's lying or not. And if he's saying now that we are going to change some things, if he said before this press conference weeks ago that this year we want to change a lot of things about this team, we want to get better players, we want to get faster players, we want to get some new people in here, that all tracks with the idea that Tim Kelly being named the offensive coordinator isn't going to result in this team changing nothing next year. In fact, I think that it's the exact opposite and people just don't like the fact that they went with the inside hire, which again, to be underwhelmed by that is totally fair. But to all of a sudden be purely defeatist and think that the season is over because of that hire, that is a couple of steps too far. I was going back and forth on Twitter earlier today with another friend of the show, Sam Phelan over at A to Z, talking about how I think, you know, he he's he's taking the position today that that this hire is, you know, upsetting. And also the idea that fans can change their opinion of what Tim Kelly could be as an offensive coordinator from the regular season to to now not thinking that he would be a very good offensive coordinator is a fair take. And my response to him was that if you've shifted your perspective on what Tim Kelly is capable of based on the 2022 season, a year in which his actual role was a complete mystery, the personnel situation on this team was a five alarm fire. And the offensive coordinator who was over him was a complete and utter train wreck. I think that's pretty foolish. Now, I'm not saying his 2022 season as the passing game coordinator for the Titans is a good element of his resume. I'm just saying I think that it's fair that that year should be stricken from the record and we should focus more on what Tim Kelly has done in his career previous. Because for all of those reasons I just laid out, there's a lot of things you can point to and say, well, yeah, it was a bad year for a staff that he was a part of. But but was it his fault? Is it a fair reflection on his capabilities as an offensive coordinator? I, I don't think that it is. And, and Sam, to his credit, replied that he think he thinks it's less about what Kelly is or isn't capable of, and more about what the Titans do or don't need. And I think that that's a, a much more coherent discussion. Maybe we'll have him on the show to talk about it um, at some point this this week. But he 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 says that he thinks it has more to do with what the Titans potentially need an offensive coordinator and less to do with what Kelly can be for them. And I think that's fair. And there's, there's a discussion to be had there. And I'm on the same page with him on that front. He may not be what the Titans need from an offensive philosophy standpoint, but a lot of the outrage today and in the coming days, I'm sure is, is a reaction to what Kelly himself means as a hire. And I think that that is reactionary nonsense. My final point on this, JT, is is simply the fact that, and you can say this isn't a fact, fine, technically it's not, but I think that there is a 99.9% .9 chance that this is a true thing, and we'll never get to know the answer to it, but logic dictates that it's true. If Tim Kelly hadn't been hired by the Titans to be their passing game coordinator before last season, if he'd stayed with the Texans or gone somewhere else or taken a year off or, or whatever, and then been named the offensive coordinator for the Titans going into this 2023 season, the vast, vast majority of folks would at the very least be content with this hire. And many, I'm sure, would probably resoundingly approve of this move. I think that Kelly's unknown impact and involvement in, in the disaster of a season last year, that that in disaster, by the way, was both on and off the field. We cannot underestimate the 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 impact that the players available and the level of play on the field. Um, really dictated a lot of how last season went in, in addition to poor coaching. But all of those things should not dramatically sway your opinion of Tim Kelly's ability to be the offensive coordinator for this team.